Hi all, this is Shekhar here from testingpool.com. This is second tutorial of LeanFT. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to install LeanFT as a separate component and integrate it with Eclipse. So, you might be aware like what is LeanFT. I'll just give you a brief about that. Uh, LeanFT is not, nothing but the automation tool, which is um, which can be integrated with Eclipse as well as Visual Studio. So in Eclipse, we can write the Java code and Visual Studio, uh, we can write the coding in C Sharp. So in this tutorial, I'm going to tell you, um, we can integrate and we can sort of install it as an add-in of UFT. So who are not aware of UFT, I'll just give a brief history about that. So UFT is nothing but an automation tool, uh, the, which is called Unified Functional Testing. It is um, released by HP company. It's HP software and it's a very famous and um, very good automation tool, right? So if you would have heard about QTP, so this is the latest version of QTP. Um, till QTP 11, it used to be called as QTP, uh, Quick Test Professional, that's full form is. After QTP, um, they have the latest version, which is 12.5, is called as U UFT. So Lean FT is the part of UFT. You can say like that uh, because it comes as an add-in. If you are um, buying UFT or if you are installing UFT, Lean FT component by default will come with 12.5 version in previous tutorial i told you how to sep how to sep how to install linft separately uh, without installing uft also so it is also possible so there are two ways so in this tutorial the good thing is um, you will learn you can learn like how to install uft also as well as linft um, and that can be integrated with eclipse after that so um, UFT, how to install UFT first? I'll just tell you about that. So you should simply write download UFT 12.5 in Google and go to this first link www.8.hp.com. You can see this link download now. So you can click on this link. You might have to sign in to download that software. If you have account into that, you can directly sign in. Otherwise you can go and sign up uh, first. I already have the, I already signed into, into this. So I'm just logging into. Click next. Okay. Okay, so it is already showing into my account. Um, UFT is ready to download, but if you do not get this option here do not worry about that what you can do is go to explore and the good thing is in this tutorial you can learn how to install uft tool as well as lean ft so the um, uft is also an automation tool and which is very famous you can use that um, for automating many platforms different kind of application but Definitely we are focusing in this tutorial for LeanFT. So I'll tell you how to install LeanFT along with uh, UFT. That means while you are installing UFT, you will get the option to install LeanFT along with that. So 
so as you can see my cursor unified function testing I'm highlighting that click on that and it will be added into your account like this as you are seeing right now and as you see the option download in the green button click on that So this is the welcome page of uh, UFT downloads. You have option for installing as a full package where you will get all the license server setup and ext extensibility accelerator and other files. But and you can download the zip file also. So I'll recommend you can download this file so which will be having the less size and will be installed fast. So after that it will be downloaded. I'm not going to show you and like how where it will download and after that because I already have that file in my system so I'll directly take you to that folder where it got installed if you see here this was a zip file I have already extracted this so it will come something like this so this is nothing but the UFT folder right where the UFT has been installed so if I double click on this I'll get so many files here you can see that so we are bothered about this setup file so if you double click on this you'll get this window so in this way we are installing UFT and we will get the option while installing for selecting lean FT also as an installation so I'll show you where you will get it so click on the first link unified function testing setup You need to click OK and all this program which you've seen as a list here will be installed. So I'll pause the video for some time till the time it is installed and you can click on OK and it will it will be installed one by one. Okay, so all the program which were in the list have been installed. So after that I got this window and you will also get the same window. Click on next. And accept the term click on next again okay so here the important part comes so UFT comes with a number of add-ins add-ins are nothing but the platforms or the application um, those add-in will help you to work um, to uh, to make you work on the particular application like as you can see here like Siebel add-in SAP add-in power builder PeopleSoft, Oracle, Java, these are the add-ins and TE, TE add-in, TE is used for mainframe. So you have the option to select entire feature will be installed. You can select this option if you want to select this particular add-in, if you want to use that add-in. So these are nothing but related to UFT, but we are bothered about LeanFT here. So let's go to LeanFT first. So along with that, the same way you see here the option is lean FT. We are going to do the same thing like click on entire feature will be installed on local hard drive. Select this option. Click on next. As you can see, click browse to select the location where the Eclipse ID is installed. Right, so there we need to give the path of the Eclipse ID. Right, so I'll show you browse. So I'm going to give this path here. I'll show you how the file looks like uh, in this path. So I'm giving the path 
of this folder right where my eclipse resides i have provided the path over there and after that click next just install after that see this uft uh, okay you can ignore this error there is no relation uh, there is no relation to this error with this lean ft it is something related to uft so you you don't no need to worry about that uh, unless until you are uh, bothering about that uft right if you are just installing lean ft so you don't need to worry about that Actually, from U 12.5 version, HP has included this Lean FT option. Before that, there were many versions like 12.2, 12.1, 11.5. So Lean FT was not there. From 12.5 only, it is started it started coming. So you can click on Finish. You can click this as well. So now we'll see how it has been installed. If you'll see here on the desktop, this is nothing but the UFT, Unified Function Testing Tool, Automation Tool. This is a separate tool. It is, a Lean FT is not uh, uh, like, you no need to worry about that because like if you're working on Lean FT, you have to open your Unified Function Testing Tool or something like that, nothing. So we'll be bothered about uh, only Eclipse. We'll be, we, because we have installed that component with Eclipse so we'll be writing our code Java coding in Eclipse only so this is a uh, basically ad additional advantage or additional point which I told you with this right if somebody is looking for unified function testing tool how to install and all they can install in this way so this is a separate tool and you get a 30 days uh, license for that so if you just click on continue you are that means you're opening uft tool but leave this right now here uh, so first we'll see like how to how it looks like that lean ft with eclipse right so we'll open eclipse first so go to the eclipse folder and open your eclipse So if you are working on Lean FT, the component which we have added as an add-in of UFT, it should be installed with or integrated with this Eclipse. You can choose any workspace according to your wish. As you can read it here right loading.com and it will ask you to provide the access for lean ft runtime engine so you can say allow access and here also you can see lean ft runtime engine active and lean ft runtime engine is started successfully and you got a 30 days license uh, free trial version Okay, so our Lean FT has been installed successfully, as you can see it here, right? By default, it will be enabled. If you want to disable it, you can make it with this option here. And you can start using Lean FT after that. Uh, just an, uh, one additional point I would like to tell you about UFT also, because this is also uh, one of the tool, very famous tool, people usually work on that. So. The added, added advantage is like we have installed UFT also along with this. So if you want to work on UFT, you can work on this as well. So I'll just show you how it looks like. Okay, so we have to close Lean FT if you want to use UFT.
so these are the add-ins I was talking about as you can see lean FT add-in is not there right because HP is providing another way to install lean FT and it is giving as an add-in of UFT automation tool right so that means if you're buying UFT lean FT is automatically coming along with that right but if you want to buy it separately so you can buy the lean FT itself separately instead of buying UFT so uh, how to install lean FT components separately that I have already told in tutorial, tutorial number one right so uh, just want, want to show you like how this UFT looks like so but again I'm telling you there's no relation of UFT and lean FT tools right they are totally two separate tools so it looks like that so in this tutorial I've told you two ways or the installation of two tools basically All right so that's it like uh, uh, for this tutorial let me know if you have any question for me uh, you can just put in comments I'll definitely reply on that and I'll be coming with third video soon where I'll tell you how to enable the component in the browsers if you want to run lean FT right lean FT does not directly work with the browser there is some installation needed in the browser still so that we'll see in the next video thank you